Okay, so everyone here, I have a wonderful little device which we are going to crack open. And that is this little charge which is time, date, temperature and all other which you can keep it on your desk. So now let us get started. So here you can see it's quite good from a Midco company. It's a petroleum company and they generally give it uh, to their uh, guests or you know like they sell it and here you have a wonderful feature that you can set uh, the time according to your locations if i am in india then i will set it then if i just change to dubai then it's going to change the time for dubai and then if i am going to do it to moscow then it will be the time of moscow and then if of athens then athens and in this way uh, we really get actually uh, the time for a lot of like if I want uh, carry -o, then it, it's carry -o, Paris, London, Rio de Janeiro, New York, Chicago, Denver, Los Angeles, LA, Honolulu, Wellington, Sydney, Tokyo, Hong Kong, Bangkok and India. So generally all the time zones around the world are covered inside this and along with this also you have a torch over here and it's quite bright torch uh, now i cannot really show you but it's uh, really a good bright torch and that's it so now we are going to see uh, what's inside and this little thing so now let us jump in the weed okay so first you need to gather some tools like tweezers and a bit of rod sort of thing some screwdrivers to get it open so now first uh, you have this so first uh, i'm going to turn off the power i'm going to open it up and remove this little so it's all of the end of it and then also you have the small you know cell cells like for now i have to remove it it's a bit too late. so i will etc so i am going to take help of my bit of rod so Share it over here, and it's really tough. And I'm trying my best. And here I have it removed. And so now with the tweezers, I am not able to find any screw points. So we will target this. And uh, first, we are going to remove it, and then this one. And it's removed. And here you can see that in one of it there is no screw sort of and in another you are getting actually a screw and so now i'm going to open it up taking it out so and the small one so i'm going to use it and okay so i am successfully being able to remove this and after removing this i am going to remove this thing that's over here inside it i have over here the first one removed and now i'm removing the second one actually it's a bit deep seated so it's getting difficult and i will remove that also so i have removed both the screws where it didn't came out and it's a good chance that you can salvage the screws so you know, like you can uh, you can take itself whenever you need so I have both of the screws I have received and so now I'm trying to open it up and oh it's quite easy and over here uh, as I open it you can see this little panels for some things and from here actually you really get all the power source and the wonderful thing is I just wanted to check out that what's over here inside this and I don't even have a chance to. Uh, let's see if I am able to turn it. It's oh, so it's like uh, it's a sort of potentiometer sort of thing that's hooked into this, and this is of course the LED LCD panel 
and the circuit logic board so now i'm trying to remove it so after having a close up i have found out that there is a screws attached to this logic board and over all our lighting so a servo sort of is there there also some screws are there and this a panel so i'm going to remove it all you also do the same well you can use a such a tipped screwdriver which i am using for doing this job so now i am having this logic board actually removed and jo it's done and here this is up and the lcd panel oh wow it's just a glass and an lcd and the screen it's the old technology that you know, that the used to use and oh i'm finding out that wait there's something more for oh, the connections are backwards it's a bit complicated to remove it but first i'm going to remove this little whatever so i want to see what's inside that so i'm going to remove it so now i am opening up the little screws which are there and this is the left and i've did it uh, almost did it all of them and now i'm going to see what's inside okay so wow i have some uh, i had some really amazing technology going over here here as you can see i had two contact points so as soon as i do touch one from here to this it is as they are labeled properly wellington tokyo sydney and all of them and then it was going to give the signal to this logic board that's going that was going to process it i really liked it so after a bit of tough time removing this carefully i tried to put the powers back and what i found is it's still working and to my surprise this is uh, oled screen and this if i press this button for light it's just going to illuminate it and so it's going to give that light effect you know uh, it's it's very simple and i i really like this logic board it's good and now i'm to try to remove the switch and the screws from this uh little sort of switches and that so i'm trying it so i managed to remove this rubber pad or so from this little strip where if this contacts are there then such uh, will be considered and now i have also opened this leds and the buzzer or that beep sound is the piezo buzzer and i'm i'm going to break this out and it's really interesting that if uh, two such contacts of something are made with the respective countries like i am doing uh, then it's going to change the time accordingly so now it has been reset i'm not going to do that but uh, you can see like if i am something doing some other country like Okay, and you you just see that from seven or something it changed to twelve, so possibly it is twelve hours ahead of it, and it's still working this temperature. And I'm finding out the temperature sensor, and I found that it was just on the logic board itself. It's very complicated, and actually here you can see this black little thing. This black little that's an unlock temperature and i mostly think it's uh, it's lm35 and thank you for the opening of this and it's really an amazing toy i've just disassembled this powers and it's it will get back working thank you for watching and have a good